It's been understood that the conditions of the law are present. This arrangement has been found fully valid by the law, and the decision of divorce has been made by both parties involved. So it's over then. Is that right? We did it at Catalca Court, so yes, it's over. Congratulations, Miss Parahan. We lost a bond with you again. We solved another problem. Now you must be relieved. As of this moment, you'll continue your life as Parahan tells me happily, I'm sure. They're issuing a red notice for the boys. Oh, damn all of you to hell where you belong! Come on now, Rasan. I'm not your brother-in-law anymore! We're not done with you, Miss Parahan. I didn't forget that suitcase you gave me when the police were at the door. I won't forget it ever. I won't forget that suitcase ever. I won't forget your actions for as long as I live. Hello. Ah, yes. Why, good morning, dear counselor. Uh, yes, uh, yes, uh, thank you, thank you, sir. How, how are you doing today, huh? That's right. I know, sir, I didn't forget it. I'll be there at four o'clock sharp for sure, okay? Uh, yes. Unfortunately, Ms. Lale said that she couldn't be there. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes. She's out of town at the moment. Now that they'll be searched for with a red notice. They'll find them and bring them back home. Yes, it's bad now. Mustafa really did what he could. He was too late. I wish he could have talked to them earlier. Much earlier. Clean it up. Be careful, don't cut your hand. Wake up, you lazy trash bins. Good morning. Good morning to you, not to me. What happened? Are you tired? I'm tired. I didn't only serve dozens of drinks, but also I did all the cleaning for them as well, it turns out. However, it's almost over. I'll be gone next week. Next week, there'll be a ship. I'll go to Greece first. I'll stay there for some time, and then I'll go to my own country after that. How did you make that arrangement? Who in the world did you talk to? Don't be afraid. I didn't do anything to harm you. I begged a tourist at the coast. I came here for my boyfriend. He left me and ran away. I don't have any money. I need to reach my family. She felt sorry for me and let me make a phone call. People here can be so gullible sometimes, really. You're saying it as if it's something good, right? They'll find our location. She was going on a cruise, and she must be gone by now. I spoke with passwords. Her phone won't be working soon. Who knows where it'll be tonight? It's our last week, right? I think that's enough. Then we shouldn't spend this week working. We should spend this week having fun. You can do whatever you want to. I only want to sleep now. I wish you had guaranteed our life, too, before you leave. What are we going to do when you leave? Where will we go? How will we go? That doesn't concern me. It's enough that I put myself at risk for you guys. You can do whatever the hell you want to. Wow, okay then. Oof. Oh, shut up. Mm.
I won't stay long at the school. I'll come to the meeting if you wait for me for five minutes. I'll wait for you, then. <sighs> what is it? I'm sure they'll say the meeting is postponed again. Hello? Miss Ender, good morning. Miss Lale is on the line. She wants to talk to you. Lale Gonzalez? That's correct. Do you want to talk to her? Why, yes, of course. Hello, Mrs. Lale? This is she. I'm putting you on the line. Thanks so much. Have a good day. Hello? Hello there. Miss Ender, how are you? I am well, but we can stop being so formal with each other. Remember, we were once school friends after all, weren't we? <laughs> I knew you'd recognize me. Then you began to search for me. That's right. We have mutual friends in Ankara, but I don't know why no one wants to talk about you. That alone makes me extremely curious. You're right. I don't know you well. Actually, I don't know you at all, but I know you're not the person you seem. You risked everything to do business with the Yasserans. That means you're hiding something, but I'm wondering what it might be. I won't explain anything to you now, but I'll ask for one thing. Please don't mess everything up. Well, what does that mean? If you are a little patient, you'll see very soon that we both want the same thing. Please, Ender. Please try to ignore me for the time being. If something were to happen to my daughter or to me, of course I would want to know what it is. I want to know what you're hiding from me. I hate Rasat Yasaran as well, you know. So take comfort in that. Okay, well, I'll, I'll write then. Please don't ask anything. I have to hang up now. I'll tell you everything when the time is appropriate, but right now, just trust me. Okay. Goodbye. What is it, Mr. Rasad? Uh, hello there. How are you? Fine, thank you. So we had a talk with the counselor. I told him that you weren't joining the meeting. He wasn't happy. And so? And quite frankly, ne neither was I, so just so you were aware. That's how it goes. Hmm. I see. I am just trying to get your work done, Mr. Asat. Don't ask me what it is. I make you sad sometimes, right? No, it's extremely normal. I'm looking at this professionally. I'm feeling rather upset right now. Parahan and I just got divorced. <sighs> I wish you both much happiness. Thank you. Uh, so I'd like to ask you out. If you're at all free tonight, I want to celebrate. Would you dine with me so that I won't be alone and too upset anymore? It's not possible. I'm out of town. We're wandering around the area with Katars. I'm presenting a proposal to them. Okay. Uh, let's make it some other time. Okay, another time. Okay. See you later. Have a good day. Have a good day. Are we going to trust her? Could it be one of Rasat's games? <sighs> I just don't know.